California's primary election and Super Tuesday just one week away. Voters will be deciding who to send to Washington with some very rare openings for Bay Area congressional seats. KTVU political reporter Greg Lee here with us in studio. And Greg, I mean, some generational change is coming here. Yeah, Mike, that's exactly right. We will see some fresh faces representing the Bay Area for the first time in decades. And with experience comes influence and knowledge of how to navigate the halls of Congress. And no question, whoever ultimately fills these seats will have big shoes to fill. When Bay Area voters have their votes counted on Super Tuesday, they will see a changing of the guard. Longtime Bay Area representatives either retiring or running for new offices and taking with them decades of experience. That's, that's a lot of uh, brain power. People know who the district, know how to get things done in Congress. You're, we're losing that. It began with Congresswoman Jackie Speer, who chose not to run in 2022 after 15 years in the House. Oakland Representative Barbara Lee is running for Senate, vacating the position she's held for 26 years. And Silicon Valley Congresswoman Anna Eshoo will retire after 32 years in Congress. Representing really uh, uh, what I think is the most distinguished congressional district in the country uh, has just been the honor of my life. Eshoo was first elected in 1992 in what was dubbed the Year of the Woman. 47 women were elected to the House, 24 for the first time, and women won an additional four seats in the Senate. Among them, the late Senator Dianne Feinstein, who served 31 years in the upper chamber. The representation is so important uh, because now we have more African-American women. We have... Um, uh, uh, gay women, we have uh, Hispanic women, uh, we have uh, Native American women, uh, and, you know, their voices um, are so important. We are losing a huge uh, generation of seniority, and especially in the U.S. Senate, seniority is everything. So uh, California is definitely going to be um, you know, we're not going to have those impact players. These rare vacant seats in the Bay Area have set off a mad dash to fill them. Nine people are running for Lee's seat. Eleven are competing to succeed Eshu. While the candidates may be novices in Congress, Eshu says they all bring their own valuable perspective. There is a, a variation of experience, some in local government, some local government, and uh, combined with uh, work in the state legislature, uh, some never having held uh, public office, but have done uh, uh, wonderful things in their lives. The Bay Area has had uh, a long-standing uh, relationship with a lot of its politicians. The names are very familiar, household names, but th there comes a transition. A transition that could potentially define a new era. 33% of uh, House members from California are women, and uh, there's a possibility that that could shrink to e even smaller numbers, and more than half of the voters are women, uh, so it's this is uh, going to be a loss of uh, female power. It very could, very well could be. As the age of politicians continues to come under scrutiny, some experts say the open positions represent an opportunity. I've always believed that it's important to bring in uh, newer thinking, younger people, and and I think that's basically what. A lot of people are craving in politics now. As voters weigh in on who will have the opportunity to fill these giant shoes, Eshu gives this advice for the next generation. Number one, put country first. Always put your country first, our country first. Uh, don't vote out of fear. Congresswoman Eshoo points out when she first ran, there were 32 women in Congress. Now there are 151. She gives much of the credit to former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who is, of course, running for re-election to represent San Francisco. In studio, Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Starting the page on some congressional seats right here in the Bay Area. All right, Greg, thank you.